this is one of my behind the scenes videos and I want to share how I find time to keep learning. Because have you ever thought I would love to learn to do X, Y and Z, oh, but I don't have time. Before I go into that, my name's Shola Kay, my business is called Speak Up Like a Diva and I help people become better communicators, whether that's going into their workplace and delivering a masterclass or a keynote speech or working with people individually. I quite often have people say, I would love to do your Get Clients with Speaking program, Shola, but I don't have time. And in addition to that, when I take online courses, I tend to abandon them partway through. First of all, regarding Get Clients with Speaking, that has an online component because there's a lot of content online, but also there are live classes with me and also you get one-to-one -one accountability coaching with a lady who works with me, who's a very capable coach in her own right. But I don't want to just talk about my courses and my coaching here. I just want to speak on a, a kind of more global level and share with you what I do to find time to keep learning. Now, I, um, I'm one of those unfortunate types who likes to learn stuff for its own sake. And I understand that it really is, however much you know, if you don't implement it, then does that mean you've wasted your time? Quite possibly. However, I love to learn things for their own sake, to know them, and then also to, of course, implement things as well in my business and in my life. And when we are so busy, because everyone's pretty busy these days, when we're quite busy, it's hard to find time to actually um, commit to, okay, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to spend an hour today on this course or reading this book or um, listening to this podcast. It can be hard to find time. So uh, I'm going to share what I do. I'm not saying that everybody can do this because um, not everybody does things the way I do them, but just to share a little bit of the behind the scenes, you know, of, of how things are for me. So as I said, I love to learn new material and uh, I was always sort of struggling like, oh, there's not time or um, I can't justify the time to sit down and learn something new at my desk and take an online course or to uh, watch some sort of online seminar because I've got so much other stuff to do. But what I've been uh, started to do just recently is to work out at the same time as watching um, online training. And the way that I do that is, um, I guess, I, I, I don't go to the gym. I used to live right opposite a gym and I'd be a real gym bunny. But since I moved, I now have a rebounder and some kettlebells and things at home. And I use those at home to work out. I also play a bit of tennis from time to time. But because I work out at home and in my bedroom, what I can do is I set up either my laptop or uh, a, a, an iPad or similar device. I set it up on the bed and I play whatever module it is of the latest online course that I'm studying. And I do interval training. So that means that I, I might do a 30 second hard burst of work and then 30 seconds off, or maybe it's 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So what I do is I will be playing whatever it is that I'm watching, exercising, doing my jumps, star jumps or kettlebell swings. And then in that 30 minute break that I, or 30 minute, 30 second, can you imagine doing like, 30 seconds on, 30 minutes off. <laughs> That'd be a workout, wouldn't it? But in that 30 second break or 15 second break, what I will often do is jump off my rebounder, uh, my little mini trampoline, I'll jump off that and I'll have a notebook and a pen there and I'll just jot down a couple of notes of what I've listened to. And then when it's time for the 30 seconds of work to resume, I'll jump back on the rebounder again. And um, to some, that is not going to be the way that they will enjoy studying because some people like to sit down and they like to really focus their attention on just one thing. They don't want to multitask. And I get that because I know that multitasking is not always the best way to approach stuff. But for me, it's like a bonus, like learning this material is, is entertainment to me because I just love learning new stuff. So it's almost like um, someone watching TV, watching their, their favorite Netflix while they're on their treadmill say or on the exercise bike that's how it feels to me and it, I find it a really invigorating way to start my morning because not only am I getting my um, exercise but I'm also getting my fix of learning something new 
And what that means is all the, the programs and the content that I wanted to consume, and I thought, gosh, I've got to really just set aside a block of time to consume that at my desk or go to a workshop or whatever it might be. All of that now is accessible to me and I can justify watching it every single day because I'm doing my exercise at the same time. So that's, oh, Windows is making a noise. So that's, that's how I find time to consume new information, to, to keep taking courses and classes and to keep learning. And uh, you might think, well, I'm sure she doesn't absorb very much if she's jumping around on a rebounder or swinging a kettlebell at the same time as watching an educational video. But, but then what I also do with those notes that I, I make, which as you can imagine, are kind of quite, the handwriting is pretty scrambled up, right? But what I do with those is when I have a quiet moment, perhaps I'm watching telly or just chilling out or whatever, I will either review them, just read them through, or I'll, either, I'll type them up. So I get to look through that content a couple of times and then by that time I'll, the things that are important to me to absorb and take in um, then I'll do that and other bits which are kind of not more filler or not so interesting to me I'll leave those and then of course I've got that in mind to um, to um, actually integrate into my business and to act upon so that's how I um, keep learning but also keep exercising at the same time and and the payoff for me is just that i just love to learn new stuff and um by conf i don't only confine it to when i exercise but by tying it in with exercise it makes exercise more pleasurable for me because um i i like to be healthy but i can't say i particularly enjoy getting up and exercising every single day so i'm, I'm sort of coupling something very pleasurable with something that is perhaps less pleasurable but it, but I enjoy it more now by, ex by educating myself at the same time as exercising. So I hope that helps. There's another behind the scenes video just giving you a few more um, insights into how I do my thing. And uh, I hope, hope maybe there's something there that you can take away that's useful. Or if you completely disagree with the way that I do things, I'd love to hear from you as well. You can share the way that you, you make it happen. And maybe I'll get some tips and tricks from you. I hope so. So that's it from me for now. Uh, if you are interested in Get Clients With Speaking, then if you just go to sholakay.com slash group, G-R-O-U-P, you can find out more about that program. And I've had clients who are on the program who've said to me, oh, well, um, I was in the kitchen cooking the other day and I decided I'd get the phone and I'd play um, one of your videos, training videos while I was cooking. So um, other people are finding ways to consume online training and online content at the same time as getting on with daily household chores. So if they can do it, then maybe you can do it as well. That's it from me and I'll see you soon. Bye.